stories that matter most for Fort Lauderdale. This is FTL City News. Hello everyone, I'm Ross Palumbo. The city taking action and memorializing the victim of an horrific crime from nearly 87 years ago, the mob-led lynching of Reuben Stacy. Now his name will forever stand above the site where it happened as a memorial to him and as a reminder to everyone else of what happened here. Three, two, one. Dozens of family members coming to witness this honor, along with dozens more from the community. Oh God, oh God, our Father, eternal Father, we thank you for this day. That Stacy's own great niece opening the ceremony with a prayer, and along with the family, speaking of the city honoring him by finally recognizing the injustice he suffered through. Well, I'm just praying for God's will to be done, that it's already started, and for unity and peace and understanding, because we know God is our righteous judge, and we have no room for hatred. We want reconciliation, and we thank God that covers are being taken off. The family recounting how a mob lynched Reuben Stacy back in 1935 after a white woman alleged he had threatened her. Stacy was never allowed a lawyer or even a trial before that mob murdered him. No one has ever been charged in the brutal crime. At that time, the elders did not tell the children exactly what was happening, but we knew we knew what was happening because the house became absolutely quiet. My mother's beautiful laugh stopped. My father's teasing stopped. Everything stopped. We as children knew that something terrible had happened. But no more. No more. No more. Black, white, Jew, or Gentile. If you touch one of us, there's going to be a reckoning, but we're going to hitch our wagons today together and move forward. This is an historic day that all of us can share in. We weren't all part of the family of Reuben Stacy, but we are all part of the history of, which, of what this event commemorates. Teach your children about the history of what happened, not just a good history, not just to make someone feel good or uncomfortable, but tell the truth of history, because history is the truth. It is the truth. Powerful words, Ann Navins is the closest living relative to Stacy. She knew him as a child. Now at 95 years old, she was there and able to see 75 signs go up along the road here, marking the area where her uncle lost his life. Meanwhile, here at City Hall, commissioners and leaders from every city department coming out just a few days ago to meet with all of our neighbors. It was all part of Neighbor Support Night here at City Hall. Commissioners McKenzie and Glassman greeting residents and answering questions. Staff from every department was on hand to do the same. The theme this year was celebrating the arts, and each department interpreted that theme at their booths. There was plenty of entertainment, food, and games, and there were plenty of giveaways, too, like trees for residents or raffle prizes worth up to $1,500. It's important because every citizen in Fort Lauderdale gets a chance to come and meet our incredible staff from the city of Fort Lauderdale. What we like to do here is get the community engaged and we assemble it in such a way that all of our departments are here with their department heads and they have um, a short synopsis of what each department does and how to navigate our system if you need those services. Hundreds of neighbors coming out making the night a huge success. Commissioner Glassman welcoming a new business on Las Olas over the weekend. The commissioner cutting the ribbon and helping to open Coyo Taco, the well-loved Mexican restaurant from Wynwood, opening its second location here with plenty of excitement. It's bringing in dozens of new jobs. The grand opening including a mariachi band, margaritas, and of course, plenty of tacos. And finally, a beautiful view from the Fort Lauderdale Yacht Club. Sales were dancing on the water for the second annual Street Art Regatta, or STARS as they call it. The event transforms the intercoastal into a floating theater of pop art and competitive sailing. Young athletes race across the water with sails that have huge human legs painted on them. That all creates a beautiful image of dancing on 
on the water. Mayor Dean Trentella is serving as the race starter. What it does is it combines sailing as well as art. And our community is really embracing both. We have a beautiful yacht club here, the Fort Lauderdale Yacht Club. And at the same time, teaching kids to sail, learning practice best techniques in order to make sure that when they get on the open water that they're safe and they're having fun. Now after the race, these beautiful sails were all auctioned off, raising money for sailing scholarships for young people who don't have regular access to boating right now. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the City News. Don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And for everything you could ever want to know about the city, just head to our newly redesigned website, fortlauderdale.gov. I'm Ross Palumbo. We'll see you next week.